Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift in with my next thrifting haul. Um, this is going to be a short one, hopefully. So here we go. Um, I don't know why I picked these up, but I am a sucker for picking up designer ties, even though they don't really sell well for me. But I have a hard time leaving them behind. So I got these for 50 cents a piece. This one is a YSL. This one is one as well. Uh, this one, I believe, is a Christian Dior. And this is a Burberry's tie. Moving on, I got this uh, Michael Kors earmuffs. I got this at a yard sale for $3. I believe it has rabbit hair on it and still new with tags. I got two of these. They are Karl Lagerfeld candles. It's kind of like a free gift you get with a perfume purchase. So I got two packs of those for a dollar a piece. I picked up these two uh, Chanel bottles. They're empty, but I just like the look of them. I think I um, have this one listed right now on Poshmark, but I'm keeping that guy. Uh, these guys I got at the same thrift store as this one. Uh, for $3, I got this bag of patches. So they looked military in style to me. So I definitely like these guys. This one I think is a Star Wars uh, patch. I thought those were cool. This is a Kate Spade compact I got for a dollar at a garage sale. This stuff here I got for $30 total. I went to this estate sale twice, paid $20 one time, $10 the next time. So here's what I got. I got this etched glass uh, little pitcher. It looks like a milk, little creamer pitcher with a little sterling base. This is a sterling bracelet. I got this sterling bolo tie. It is hallmarked along the edge right there. This is a long stranded uh, tiger's eye necklace. I found this new in box Invicta special edition watch. This I believe is Monet, a little panther brooch. I got this cool fish, carved fish. I don't know if it's like jade or jadeite. I thought that was pretty cool. This is a Kenneth J. Lane for Avon dragonfly brooch. This one is a genuine cloisonne made by Weissner of Miami. And it comes with a little comb right there. This is a sterling bracelet. These earrings are 14 karat. You got little beluga whales, I think, on there. These ones are marked, but I can't read the marking. It's kind of not perfectly stamped, so I want to get those tested. This is a sterling charm, a sterling anchor pendant, marked right there. A sterling dolphin, marked on the underside. This is a crown trafari brooch. Kind of reminds me of a scarab. I got a few single uh, sterling earring and little earring loops. This is a faux jade brooch. This one is a modern day Miriam Haskell bib necklace, still new at tags. This one's just a gold tone anchor necklace. I think that's Avon. These I got just in case they could have been gold because I couldn't read the markings. And I think this one is Monet and these are Avon. And I got a new at tag fossil necklace, little B. I got this Nina Ricci brand new in the box perfume. I believe the bottle is made by Lalique and it has its own little paperwork with that. I got this bangle. I'm not sure if it's sterling or not. There's no marking, but I just like the look of it. These are opalescent silver cufflinks. Got this wooden hand carved necklace. And lastly from that sale, I got these. This is a handkerchief with the four characters, the four main characters on each corner. So you see the two here. And then I got a jewelry book to help me identify some brands that I might have. 
So this one, I went to an estate sale. I don't remember how much I paid, but most of it still has its original price on it. So I'll try and mention them if I remember. So these three pieces, I think I paid $5 total. This is a Joan Rivers pin. This one is a Sterling Forget-Me-Not, a little charm. It has someone's name in, inscribed on there. And this one's just, it looks like a silver abalone brooch. It's not Sterling. This I was surprised by the, by the price because it's $15. And usually this estate sale company doesn't let gold go for that cheap. I mean, they barely let sterling go for cheap. So I was really surprised that this didn't, it wasn't caught by them, I guess. But these are diamonds in here and it is marked 14 karat on the pendant and the necklace. I got this Michael Dawkins little yin yang ring with little stones inset here i got that for twenty dollars this i paid ten dollars and this is a rlm studio sterling bracelet I believe it's hallmarked on right there 925 china another side says rlm studio i got a few eclesi watches they're sterling silver as well this one I paid 25 This one was $10. And this one was $15. That's like the band on that one. This one is a sterling silver and CZ pendant brooch duo for $5. I got a few empty boxes to go with any of the jewelry I might pick up. So I can have a completed set. Oh, I forgot to mention. This came from this sale. The $30 sale. So it was vintage Disney cards. So my sister and brother-in-law love everything Disney. I mean, I love everything Disney too. But their house is pretty much Disney decorated. So I thought we could frame these and hang it on the wall somewhere. So I thought it wasn't bad at all for $3. Comes with like close, probably 200 cards. Moving back to the sale. So I got some perfumes, me and another lady, we were pretty much number one and two in line. She ran straight for the perfume, which was what I was gonna do as well. So she grabbed probably like five perfumes I managed to only grab these two. So this is an Oscar de la Renta. I would say it's about two thirds full, but each of the perfumes was $4. And then I got this Lan Van vintage perfume bottle. I'd say it's got a good amount in there still, but also $4. And then she came back and put this back, probably because there's not a lot in there, but it's a Vivian Westwood. Uh, perfume and I've seen some people just sell the bottle itself for way more than what I spent on it so I'm just going to add this to my perfume collection and lastly I saw this on the dining room table everyone was passing it up I think I paid three dollars for it but the cards are new in box still got the packaging on each deck so these are Gucci playing cards so I'll probably sell those so I hope you guys liked my haul thanks